the expression 2 times 0 plus 2 times 4 is equal to 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 4 is 8, and 0 plus 8 is 8. So the answer is E. If x is equal to 3, the value of minus 5x minus 6x. Minus 5x minus 6x is negative x. So negative negative x is just x, and x is equal to 3. So the answer is B. In triangle ABC, points E and F are on AB and BC, respectively, such that AE is equal to BF, and BE is equal to CF. If BAC is 70, the measure of ABC is. Well, that is equal to this, and that is equal to that. So that means the whole side of BA is equal to BC, correct? So that is an isosceles triangle. So if that's 70, then that's 70. And if that's theta, then theta plus 70 plus 70 would be 180, and therefore theta would be 40. And that theta is referring to angle ABC. So 40 is the answer, and therefore number 3 is 8. At Wednesday's basketball game, the Cayley Comets scored 90 points. At Friday's game, they scored 80% as many points as they scored on Wednesday. How many points did they score on Friday? So 80% is 0.8 of the 90, and that is the calculation, and that's 72, and therefore the answer is B. In the diagram, two identical bases of the prism are shaped like a star. The area of each star-shaped base is 400 centimeters squared. The depth of the prism is 8. The volume of the prism is. So the volume is just going to be the area of the base times the height or the depth, one, they're using the term depth. So the area of the base is 400, the height is 8, so that's 3,200. And that is choice C. Last year, Lloyd ate cookies in the percentage shown in the pie chart. The number of gingerbread cookies that he ate was two times the number of sugar cookies that he ate. What percentage of the cookies that he ate were gingerbread cookies? So gingerbread we'll call 2x and x as uh, the sugar. So 2x plus x plus 33% plus 22% would be the total, which is 100%. So that's 3x is equal to 100 minus 55, so 45. x is 15. So therefore, gingerbread is 2x, so that's 30. 30%, 30 and therefore, number 6, the answer is C. 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 is 1 over x. What is x? Let's get a common denominator, so that would be 2 over 6. And therefore, that would be 3 over 6 is 1 over x. Or 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over x. And then if you flip it, you get x equal to 2. And therefore, number 7, the answer is D. Which of the following integers is equal to a perfect square? Okay. Well, if the exponent is even, it would be a perfect square. And let's see, none of them are even. Okay, that didn't help. So where do I go from here then? Hmm. Well, this one is 4 to the power of 7. But if you convert 4 to 2 to the power of 2, then you get 2 to the power of 14. And 14 is an even number. So that's going to be a perfect square. The other way to write it is 2 to the power of 7 all squared. And therefore, you see, this is being squared. And therefore, it's a perfect square. It's just another way of writing it. But this is for sure a perfect square since the exponent is even. And therefore, the answer would be C. The sum of five consecutive odd integers is 125. The smallest of these integers is. An odd integer is of the form 2x plus 1. So if you have five of them that are consecutive, it would be 2x plus 1, 2x plus 3, 2x plus 7, and 2x plus 9. Now, they're saying the sum, so add them all up. And when you do, you would get 10x plus 25. And they're saying that is equal to 125. Okay, so therefore 10x would be 100. And x would be 10. Now, they don't want 10. Now, thankfully, 10 is not one of the answers because sometimes it is, and then you choose it and get it wrong. But they want the smallest. The smallest was this guy. So if x is 10, 2x plus 1 would be 21. And therefore, number 9, the answer is C. 
Stu two standard six-sided dice are rolled. What is the probability that the product of the two numbers is 12? Any probability question is usually a fraction. The bottom number is the total possibilities, and the top is the specific condition. So in our question, what is the total if you roll two dice, right? Well, the first dice, there's six possible numbers that could appear. On the second dice, there's six possible numbers that could appear. So six times six, there's 36 possible combinations of those two dice, okay? Now, our specific condition is that we want the product of those two numbers to be 12, okay? How do we get two numbers to be equal to 12? Remember, a die only has the following numbers, okay? Well, one and six, mm, that's not going to be 12, but two and six, that those two numbers have a product of 12. Or how about 6 and 2? That's another way of doing it, right? And then 3 and 4, or 4 and 3. And I think that's it. So this is four possible ways, so 4 goes up here. So 4 over 36 is the answer. And that is, in the answer choices, B.